हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंग्लिश मैन ए लैंग्वेज क्लास इज वंस अगेन इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स लर्न अबाउट द एजेक्टिव एंड इट्स वेरियस काइंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिफाइन द वर्ड एजेक्टिव देन वी विल डिस्कस द काइंड वन बाय वन सो वॉच द वीडियो टिल एंड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एजेक्टिव there are many ways we can define adjective like the one definition given here is an adjective is a word which adds some more meaning to a noun or pronoun adjective jo hai noun ya pronoun ki meaning mein mazid kuch addition karta hai it adds something to the meaning of a noun or pronoun and adjectives we know they are describing words they describe the nouns how nouns are how a thing is so they describe the nouns modify the nouns so let us see in these examples which words here act as adjectives first example is he is an ordinary man in this sentence the word man is a noun common noun and the word ordinary here used acts as an adjective ordinary man he is an ordinary man wo ek ek aam aadmi hai so the word ordinary it adds to the meaning of this word noun and it becomes adjective next example is an excellent idea so the word idea is again a noun abstract noun and the word excellent adds it is used for idea the word idea so it describes the uh, noun so excellent again acts as an adjective next example you are a good teacher the word teacher is used as noun and good it talks about the teacher it is used for the teacher so good is the adjective the earth is round it is the shape actually round here denotes the shape of the noun that is the earth so round here becomes the adjective his brother was a foolish man so foolish is an uh, quality so adjectives they define the noun or pronoun they describe the noun or pronouns how they are what is their shape like what are their qualities what is the color and uh, sometimes it shows the number so we will come to know when we discuss about you know the kinds of adjectives we will learn the jobs different kinds of adjectives perform so adjectives you learned the definition that it is a word which adds to the meaning of a noun or pronoun or you can say adjectives are describing words adjective modifies or qualifies a noun or pronoun it's used for a noun or pronoun now let us discuss about the kinds of adjectives so there are many kinds of adjectives eight actually adjective of quantity that tells about the quantity of a thing that is meant how much of a thing is meant that is adjective of quantity then adjectives of quality simply this describes a noun talks about its shape size color etc the good qualities the bad qualities all discussed under the adjective of quality then adjectives of number it simply talks about the number we will learn in the below we will learn the one by one then there is interrogative adjectives uh, demonstrative adjectives possessive adjectives exclamatory adjective and emphatic adjective so let us discuss uh, the kinds of adjectives which are eight in number let us discuss them one by one first of all the adjective we are going to discuss here is adjective of quantity so adjective of quantity as i told earlier that it is the adjective that talks about the quantity of a thing a word that shows the quantity of a thing is called adjectives of quantity for example the words sufficient all insufficient whole much little some enough any these words can be used as adjectives of quantity and adjectives of quantity are always used with those nouns which can not be counted which can be weighed or measured jo nouns jin ko hum count nahi kar sakte they can either be वेड उनका वजन कर सकते हैं या फिर मेजर्ड उनको माप सकते हैं सो बेसिकली एजेक्टिव ऑफ क्वान्टिटी दे आर मैंड फॉर काउंट अनकाउंटेबल नाउन दोज नाउन विच कैन नॉट बी काउंटेड विच कैन बी ओनली मेजर्ड और वेड 
जिनका हम अंदाज़ा लगा सकते हैं फॉर एग्ज़ाम्पल एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट में हमने देखा आई हैव लिल मनी टू स्पेंड द वर्ड मनी इज़ अ नाउन वट इट इज़ अनकाउंटेबल नाउन द वर्ड लिटल इज़ यूज फॉर मनी सो लिटल हेयर इज़ द वर्ड यूज एज एजेक्टिव बट इट शोज क्वान्टिटी सो इट इज़ कॉल एज एजेक्टिव ऑफ क्वान्टिटी और यू कैन ऑल्सो कॉल इट एज क्वान्टिटेटिव एजेक्टिव नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल शी हैज़ मच पेशेंस टू बेयर द लॉस यानि काफ़ी सबर होना द वर्ड पेशेंस इट इज़ ऑल्सो एबस्ट्रैक्ट नाउन अनकाउंटेबल नाउन वी कैन नॉट काउंट इट हम अंदाज़ा लग लगा सकते हैं बहुत सबर कम सबर वी कैन फील इट सो द वर्ड मच हेयर यूज एक्ट एज क्वान्टिटेटिव एजेक्टिव और यू कैन से एजेक्टिव ऑफ क्वान्टिटी इन नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल ही डज नॉट हैव इनफ मनी ही डज नॉट हैव इनफ मनी सो द वर्ड इनफ सॉरी ही डज नॉट हैव इनफ टाइम टू स्टडी पढ़ने के लिए उसके पास ज़्यादा वक्त नहीं है सो टाइम अगेन इज अबस्ट्रैक्ट नाउन एंड एबस्ट्रैक्ट नाउन आर अनकाउंटेबल नाउन ही डज नॉट हैव इनफ टाइम इनफ वर्ड इज यूज हेयर एज एजेक्टिव ऑफ क्वान्टिटी नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल शी एज शी इज़ अ लेडी ऑफ करे ग्रेट करेज करेज मीन्स हिम्मत जुरत तो करेज इट इज़ ऑल्सो एन एबस्ट्रैक्ट नाउन एंड आई सेड एट द आउट सेड दैट एजिटिव ऑफ क्वान्टिटी आर यूज विद एबस्ट्रैक्ट नाउन और दोज नाउन विच कैन बी मेजर्ड और वेड जिनका हम वजन कर सकते हैं या फिर जिनको हम मेजर कर सकते हैं या वो नाउन जिनको हम सिर्फ फील कर सकते हैं सो आई हैव डन इनफ हार्ड वर्क इन वर्ड इज यूज हेयर एज एन एजेक्टिव एंड इट इज द एजेक्टिव ऑफ क्वान्टिटी सो वर्क हेयर इज इज ऑल्सो एबस्ट्रैक्ट नाउन सो इट वॉज द फर्स्ट काइंड ऑफ एजेक्टिव नाउ सेकेंड काइंड ऑफ एजेक्टिव इज सेकेंड काइंड ऑफ एजेक्टिव इज एजेक्टिव ऑफ क्वालिटी एजेक्टिव ऑफ क्वालिटी शोज द quality merit demerit etc it talks about the goodness or badness of a noun or it talks about you know the color the size the shape or the nationality all these things are you know taken in this category talked in this category so an adjective which shows the quality merit demerit goodness badness shape size color etc they are all the adjectives of quality you can also call it as qualitative adjective example first my grandfather has a black dog black it is a color and colors are all adjectives of quality my granddaughter loves a japanese doll so japanese is a nationality so nationality words for nationality are also treated as adjective of quality the language is difficult so the word language is a noun and difficult used for it it is a qualitative adjective the ground is muddy this muddy it is used for the word ground which is a noun so muddy becomes adjective but it talks about the quality so it becomes the adjective of quality philips is a careless captain careless is careless is again adjective adjective of quality akbar was a wise king so wise it is the qualitative qualitative adjective or you can call it as adjective of quality number third call uh, num, num, number third kind of adjective is adjectives of number so from the title we can assume that adjective of number talks about the count or number how many how how many things are meant how many nouns are meant so adjective of number is an adjective which shows the amount or number it is called as adjective of a number it is also called as numeral adjectives n u m e r a l numeral adjectives so adjectives of number it is again of three kinds first one is definite adjective of number then second is indefinite adjective of number and third one is distributive adjective of number from definite adjective of number 
we get again two types cardinal and ordinal cardinal adjective of number talks about the exact count count one two three four five six so this is the cardinal adjective of number definite adjective of number jahan se hame definite exact pata chalta hai ek do teen ye jo ginti jisse hame pata chalta hai how many nouns are there or how many things are meant that is the adjective of number adjective of number mein definite adjective of number hai definite adjective of number mein ye cardinal hai cardinal talks about the count yahan par count ka hame pata chalta hai then then next one is ordinal and ordinal talks about the order first second third fourth last middle to ye hame pata chalta hai order se कौन से ऑर्डर में पहला दूसरा आखिरी सो ऑर्डिनल एजिक्टिवज ऑफ नंबर में हमें आते हैं वर्ड्स लाइक फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ सो एजिक्टिव ऑफ नंबर टॉक्स अबाउट द अमाउंट और नंबर एंड इट इज ऑफ थ्री काइंड डेफिनेट एजिक्टिव ऑफ नंबर देन इनडेफिनेट एजिक्टिव ऑफ नंबर डिस्ट्रीब्यूट एजिक्टिव ऑफ नंबर तो पहले हमने डिफिनेट एजिक्टिव ऑफ नंबर जाना जिसकी फर्दर टू काइंड हैं कार्डिनल एंड ऑर्डिनल cardinal talks about the number 1 2 3 etc and ordinal talks about the order first second third then second kind of numeral adjective second kind of adjective of number is indefinite adjective of number indefinite adjective of number we use the words several sundry any certain few some all so the words act as indefinite adjectives of number earlier we uh, you know discuss the kinds of pronouns there we discuss the indefinite pronoun indefinite means use it in general when we talk in general so the words like several sundry any certain few some all no these act as when they are used along with nouns jab in nouns ke sath mein use hue honge they act as adjectives and uh, they are then all as adjectives of number but indefinite adjective of number then the third and last kind of adjective of number is distributive adjective of number which talks about a particular these words when used along with nouns they become as adjectives of number this uh, or you can say distributive adjective of number for example each every aido and aido for example e student is looking for a better chance each ke baad hame follow karta hai student that is a noun so the words each aido and aido when used along with nouns they become adjectives adjectives of number but distributive adjective of number each girl can do it here the word each is used along with the word girl that is a noun so each is here an adjective adjective of number and uh, it is grouped under distributive adjective of number then neither of these evidences can prove the guilt okay then another kind of adjective is an interrogative adjectives so these are basically the same question words which act as interrogative pronouns interrogative pronouns mein these were these words were followed by the verb here you will see the question words which whose what they will be used along with nouns in ke baad noun aayega whose book is lost book is a noun the word whose is directly used with noun it becomes adjective since this word asks a question it becomes interrogative adjective so these question words which what and whose are home these take a noun or noun phrase with them in ke sath aata hai noun ya phir noun phrase so they become adjectives since these words ask questions they are called as interrogative adjectives next example which bungalow do you like which is a question word used with the noun bungalow so which at the first place becomes as adjective because it is used along with the noun but the word which is used to ask a question it becomes interrogative adjective next example whose purse has been picked whose is used with the word purse purse is a noun whose becomes adjective 
again it asks us a question it becomes interrogative adjective so simply interrogative adjectives are the words used along with nouns to ask a question so this was interrogative adjective so let us learn about the another kind so next kind of adjective is demonstrative adjective so demonstrative adjective here again we use the words that are used as demonstrative pronouns the words like this that uh, these those such these are the words that act as uh, demonstrative earlier we saw them acting as demonstrative pronouns but here we will learn them as demonstrative adjectives in demonstrative adjectives the words are used along with nouns directly used along with nouns yahan par ye nouns ke sath use hote dikhenge these books are very helpful to us agar hum kahenge these are very helpful books these ke baad agar verb aayega these are helpful books tab ja ke these jo hai wahan pe pronoun kehlayega kyunki uske baad fir verb aata hai lekin yahan pe in words ko this that these those which are used for demonstration to point out the things to which they refer to yahan par ye directly un nouns ke sath use hote hain these it is used to demonstrate it becomes demonstrative use it with a noun directly it becomes adjective so collectively we can call it as demonstrative adjective next example i like such flowers flowers is a noun such directly used with this word becomes an adjective since it points out it demonstrates so it becomes demonstrative adjective next example such people have been very useful to them such people people again is a noun so such becomes demonstrative adjective those students were not trying to solve the problems those students students again a noun and those is directly used with the noun it becomes an adjective since it is used for demonstration it becomes demonstrative adjective so demonstrative pronoun or demonstrative adjective mein kya farak hai words to same hai used but differently when these words are followed by verbs they are called as demonstrative pronouns and when these words are directly used with nouns they become demonstrative adjectives now another kind of adjective is possessive adjective possessive so possessive adjective means those adjectives which are used to show possession possessive adjectives are used to show possession belongingness relationship so a possessive adjective can be defined as an adjective as a word which shows possession and when it is used directly with a noun it becomes possessive adjective so here actually the words used are possessive adjectives they are basically the pronouns personal pronouns mein jab humne padha tha kinds of pronouns so personal pronouns mein ye words use hote hain jo inka ye hai possessive case when they are used to show possession to ye jo words hain you are is used with a noun bungalow my friend again a word pronoun dear ideas again noun her husband is again a noun so these pronouns are actually directly used with nouns they become adjectives since they show possession they are called as possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives these possessive adjectives are also called as pronominal adjectives pro nominal why pronominal because they are derived from pronouns they are derived from personal pronouns so possessive adjectives are also called sometimes as pronominal adjectives these are basically the pronouns but since they are used directly with nouns they become adjectives and their role is to show possession so that's why we call them possessive adjectives but if we look at their origin they come from the personal pronouns so for this they are also sometimes called as pronominal adjectives so the words your my his our her 
these are actually the pronouns derived from personal pronouns they are called as pronominal adjectives or uh, and they are also called as possessive adjectives because they are used to show possession then another kind of pronoun is the other kind of pronoun is that is exclamatory adjective sorry the another kind of adjective is exclamatory adjective and this exclamatory adjective can be defined as an adjective which shows surprise for example we use when we discuss the kinds of sentences in the very first lecture so there is a kind of sentence that is exclamatory sentences we either use uh, interjections there to express our joy or sorrow and when we express our um, surprise we say what a beautiful flower what a tall building what a tall man what a huge sixer so the word what actually is used in exclamatory sentences so it is an exclamatory adjective because you will find it used with a noun what a mistake what what here is used as exclamatory adjective so exclamatory adjective is actually the word what that is used in exclamatory sentences now last kind of uh, adjectives is emphatic adjectives emphatic adjectives so from the name we understand that this adjective is used to emphasize to lay emphasis on a noun on a statement on an idea so an adjective is a word used to emphasize the idea statement or uh, you know a noun kisi cheez par kisi statement ko hum emphasize karte stressful banate hain so the words used for the sake of emphasis are called as emphatic adjectives very commonly we use these two words own and very this is the very person i met last sunday this is the very thing i was talking about this is the very place i lived 5 years back so ye word jo hai very and own it was your own idea hum ye bhi keh sakte hain it was your idea to ye complete sentence hai ye aapka idea tha lekin jab hum bolte hain it was your own idea ye aapka khud ka idea tha so we try to emphasize this statement here so own the word emphasizes it it becomes emphatic adjective that is the very place where i met him ye that is the place we bol sakte hain ye jagah hai jahan par wo mili lekin jab hum bolte hain that is the very place ye wahi jagah hai very isme taqeed badhata hai isko matlab ye stress add karta hai emphasize karta hai it lays emphasis on the statement so we call it as emphatic adjective to so simply aapko yaad rakhna hai ki emphatic adjective is a word which is used to emphasize the idea statement extra so emphatic adjectives mein aate hain very and own so ye aapko yaad rakhna hai so we discussed today in this video the adjective we defined it that adjective is a describing word or you can say it's a word that adds to the meaning of a noun or pronoun or adjective qualifies a noun or it modifies a noun simply it adds to the meaning of a noun or pronoun then we learned about the eight kinds of adjectives we discussed them one by one uh, along with uh, we illustrated with examples so hope that you have understood this lecture so mug up the kinds and uh, memorize them and if you like this video please comment like share and subscribe my channel also so that was all from today's lecture thank you very much